My name is Peter Gind. We're at the Spring Break Art Fair in booth E8. I'm a painter based between Cathet, British Columbia, Canada, and Houston, Texas. Tell me a little bit about the paintings around you. Showing 50 paintings at the fair that I've done throughout 2023. For this, I kind of chose some work to fit the theme, which was interior, exterior. So it's a combination of plein air paintings, which are the smaller ones, mixed with the uh, studio paintings, which I use the plein air paintings uh, as the basis for and then some observational paintings of my apartment. Tell me about how you make these. I have a pretty traditional practice in terms of like a lot, of, I do a lot of observational painting. So a lot of plein air painting. I don't know if you want to pan over to my Peshad box for a sec, but I bring that everywhere with me. It's my studio on the road. I've probably done at least 100 paintings in 2023 just on that. Those paintings will inform my studio works. Usually I'll take like two or three of the smaller ones when it comes time to make the larger ones. And those form the basis or the foundation of the painting. Tell me about how long it takes you to do sort of one of the smaller plein air paintings. So with the smaller ones, because like plein air, the light changes every 30 or 40 minutes. And so you have to move fast. My mother's a painter and she has a saying, it's connect, commit, select, keep going. So the first thing you gotta do is like connect with something. So I find something I connect with and I'll go back to the same place over and over and over again because I like to work in extended series too. So it's like connecting with something, I do a quick sketch, find my composition, then I'll mix all my colors, and then I'll just kind of like attack the painting and go at it. Start to finish, it's like an hour and a half of making the small ones, but actual painting time is usually maybe about 30, 40 minutes uh, once everything's set up. But the larger ones, it's a bit different because there's not that pressure of time to kind of like get your mind clear. I think like the painter Lucien Freud said that ideally when I'm painting, my mind is clear, I'm not thinking about anything. Right? And I think that's kind of that meditative state of painting. So with the larger ones, I have to hit that meditative state in some other way, which is usually some form of meditation. It'll take me about four or five hours to get to the right mind frame to make the bigger pieces. And so when it comes time to make the bigger ones, I'll pick about three of the smaller works that fit the theme or the emotion or the experience of what I'm going for that day. I'll put those on my painting wall next to my larger piece. And then I'll use those as the basis for making that. Same process as the plein airs. I'll sketch out um, my composition, kind of like Matisse with a long stick, but I just use a stick that I literally burnt the end of, so that's my charcoal to make my composition with. Then I'll mix up all my colors for that. Usually I'll break for lunch and then kind of come back. And then once I start painting, it'll be like eight to 10 hours of just straight painting. Because all my paintings are wet and wet, they're oil, and they're all monolithic, so they're all single session paintings. I like to start and finish something in one day. Um, so with these, it'll be like 12 to 16 hours start to finish. A lot of times when I see these types of paintings, there's a lot of detail, smaller brush strokes. How did you come to sort of this confident, larger brush stroke style? I'm trying to like remove a lot of detail. I think that's definitely why I like observational painting because I think with photography, there's a tendency to want to get sucked into the details and it's not really the details that matter. It's the essence of something. And I think, you know, I view painting as a meditation and so for me, it's about finding that balance within the work uh, rather than what the actual specificities of it are. how did you start painting? What brought you to it? I've been painting for like 23 years now. I'm fifth generation artist. So my mother was classically trained by a Eastern European master icon painter. And then she trained me in old masters oil painting techniques when I was a teenager. I then went on to get a, I studied at the Vancouver Academy of Art for a while, like classical. Uh, sculpture and painting, but I went on to get a degree in glass blowing from the Alberta College of Art and Design, and then a master's in painting from Brooklyn College. So paint has always like something I've come back to. You said you're between British Columbia and Houston. Yeah. What are the art scenes like there? They're very different. I was in New York City for 13 years and I worked in the gallery industry there, so I was like really in the thick of the New York art scene. And I love it, but the landscape there is not... The landscape in Cathet, British Columbia, Canada is like the Garden of Eden. So that feeds my soul. And the community there is incredible as well. Like there's some amazing artists there, but they're all usually out in their own place. Houston, Texas, much different. Uh, you know, it's a studio-based uh, practice there. There's some incredible museums. There is a thriving art scene. It's just a little bit harder to dig into. So tell me about some of your inspirations. My biggest inspiration is nature. Uh, you know, I think nature is in some way an essence of the divine. And I think the divine is uh, balance. Right, balance and beauty, divine, I think they're all the same thing. Also, just like objects that are meaningful or familiar to me, that's why all these sort of um, still life paintings are they're scenes in my apartment. You know, kind of taking a page of the book of Matisse, 
uh, you know, Hockney, things like that, where they're painting the things that they know and the things that they're seeing every day. It's the beauty and the familiar. Is there anyone you'd like to shout out? My wife, uh, definitely. Um, tulips. Uh, tulips are my favorite flower, and I'll paint many different types and colors of tulips, but pink tulips are always my wife. Thank you.